I'm CBS News Philadelphia meteorologist Andrew Kozak. As we start to settle into your Tuesday night and start the middle of the week, we're going to be coming up with a clean sweep on Storm Scan 3. It has been a very beautiful day skywise, a little chilly on your Tuesday versus Monday. That's because Monday gave us record highs. Now we're back to where we should be. What's next? Really nice the next couple of days, especially Thursday. That would be my pick of the week. Then we got to start talking about Tropical Storm Nicole. I know it sounds crazy to start thinking about that here in November, but we will have some tropical rain to deal with. Behind that, some winter like temperatures for next weekend. Let's start off first with the sunny and cold weather for your Wednesday. Bundle up on the way to school or work or wherever you may go early in the morning as temperatures will bottom out in the 30s. By lunchtime, we are looking at plenty of sun, although if you're along the Jersey Shore, a little bit of an easterly breeze could bring a few more clouds in play, but it'll still be mostly sunny to partly cloudy for a good portion of the afternoon as high pressure to our north settles in. It is a cool finish, but a seasonable finish with temperatures in the mid to upper 50s as we head into to your Wednesday afternoon. Beyond that, let's talk about Nicole. Right now, tropical storm Nicole was subtropical. It may become a category one hurricane. At this point, we already have hurricane watches and warnings for the Caribbean, Bahamas, and for the east coast of Florida. Here's what we're looking at here hurricane warnings from just to the north of Miami, Fort Lauderdale to West Palm Beach and over toward Daytona. That's going to be the most likely place that we will see landfall. There, 75 mile per hour winds, not out of the question. As it moves across Florida, it will eventually send clouds by Thursday evening and Friday to our direction. By Friday morning around 11 a.m., that's when we'll have the first couple of drops moving in for our area. So, what we need to do is keep in mind that from Friday afternoon all the way through Friday night and Saturday morning, we're going to be underneath some moderate to heavy rain. The bad news, we could get quickly one to two inches of rain, which could lead to a couple of areas of flooding. The good news, it's out of here. By Sunday, we're back into mostly sunny skies. So we are rain free Thursday, Friday. Then we're looking at rain 100% chance for Friday, 60% chance by Saturday. Then we're A OK rainfall wise for the weekend. 39 degrees tonight as we get into the day on your Wednesday. 59 degrees. Your seven day forecast is going to show a beautiful Thursday, rain Friday and Saturday. And then we get into the Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and our focus is on the temperatures. Highs only in the 40s and lows in the 30s.